Hello guys, so today I have a gist for you. If you're an international medical graduate or you know someone who has studied outside of the US, there's a new law that allows them to practice in the United States without going through the US residency program. Usually, international medical graduates would have to complete a three-step USMLE exam Thereafter, they match to a residency program in the United States, which they would need to complete within three to seven years. But with this new law, that has been bypassed. That residency part of the piece has been bypassed. In today's video, I'm going to discuss more about this law and all that you need to know and how you can tap in. Yeah, how you can come into the United States with this new law. We're hoping that with this new law, more states can also adopt a similar practice. You know, it's not news that there's a shortage of um, physicians in the United States. Like the United States needs a lot of doctors. It is not in news. So if you have studied medicine, you have a great opportunity to come into the United States. In today's video, I'm going to give you all the meat and potatoes of this new law. Do not go anywhere. If you are new to my channel, my name is Esther. Please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and like this video as well so more medical graduates across the world can have this information. Welcome back, guys. So this law was passed last year, like I mentioned, and will be going into effect in July 2024. So we're currently now in February. Before July 2024, you want to ensure that you're positioning yourself and that you are one of the first set of people to enjoy this opportunity. And in line of that, let us review the requirements for you to enjoy this opportunity so the first requirement is that you should have completed at least a three years postgraduate training in the country where you have been licensed or you should have practiced as a medical professional in at least three years in the past five years also you should be able to demonstrate competency as determined by the state board also you should have received an offer letter from an health provider in the state of tennessee that has a residency program that is accredited by the accreditation council for graduate medical education please note that this opportunity this law allows you to receive a provisional license and if you are in good standing for at least two years you will then receive a full license to practice in the state of Tennessee. You also need to prove that you are an international medical graduate, that is you have studied abroad. Also, you would need your ECFMG certification, that is the Educational Council for Foreign Medical Graduate Certification. I'll leave a quick link for you in the description box below to see how to get that certification. Please note that you still need to complete and pass your USMLE, that is the United States Medical Licensing Exam, step one and step two, before you can qualify for this opportunity. Also, this law does not say anything about the visa. So it doesn't cover anything about your visa. So if you're outside the United States and you want to come into the United States, you still have to take care of your visa, which can be done by your employer your employer can sponsor your visa so you want when you're looking for a job opportunity or a job offer you want to also look at employers that are willing to file your visa so all of these visas are things that you know can be handled like there are lots of visas that allows you to come into the united states to work confirm this with your employer that they can file a sponsorship for you otherwise another opportunity through which you can get a green card to live and work in the united states is the national interest waiver program i've already discussed this on my channel and i have a number of reels on them you can you can check them on my instagram page using the name below guys this is a great opportunity that allows you to work in the united states as a medical doctor the only restriction is that because this law is local to the state of tennessee you might not be able to work outside of tennessee but there is hope there's and how to look that in the next few years other states will begin to adopt this law based on the success of this one because you know like i said earlier there is a shortage of medical doctors in united states like more medical doctors are needed if you'd like to know more about this law how if you have questions i'll leave some links 
in the description box check them out for further reading about this law thank you so much for watching today if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe i share information about moving abroad lifestyle and other interesting things in general if you like to know anything you can leave me content suggestions in the comment section below i'll read them thank you so much i appreciate you for being here until i come your way again next time i wish you good success and all the best do take care of yourself Bye. Seen abroad, who has graduated abroad, that is outside of the United States, and are interested in walking into. Hey guys, I have a gist for you. Hi guys, so today I have a gist for you. In case you have not heard it, if you have an international student, love. Hey guys. Hello guys. So today I have a gist for you in case you have not heard or you do not know. Oh God. Guys. Hello guys. I have a gist for you. So in case you've not heard, if you know somebody that is an international student graduate. <laughs> My goodness. <sighs> Hello guys. Hello guys, so I have a gist for you. So if you are an international medical graduate or you have a friend or a relative who has studied medicine abroad, there's a new law. <laughs> Devil is a liar. Medical graduates usually have to pass the USMLE three steps program. Three steps. Usually, international medical graduates have to pass the USMLE three steps exams and then apply for a residency program whereby they are matched.